Okay, I wanted to do a review on this eyepiece I bought because I didn't see any online. It's the SB Boney 68 degree UW 6 millimeter long eye relief, multi coated. Um, I bought it, it was uh, the eyepiece with uh, shipping and tax. Uh, was under just under thirty dollars. I have another six uh, millimeter eyepiece, uh, Vixen NPL six millimeter. It's a fifty degree, and uh, the problem with this one is the uh, uh, what exit pupil? I guess is like three millimeters. You have to literally press your eyelashes against the top. And then it's got that little BB hole of a lens to look into. Um, narrow field of view, 50 degree. Um, it gives a pretty good image, you know, but it's uh, just the small field of view when you're using a lot of magnification. It's uh, tracking is hard to hand track something in high magnification because it doesn't stay in field of view very long. So I was looking to something to supplement that maybe. So. So I bought this. This one here cost, uh, they're $49, I think. So this one's less expensive. I tested it on uh, a, ET, a Mead ETX 70-millimeter um, by 350-millimeter reflector. I also tested it on a Celestron XLT um, or Omni XLT 120. It's a 120 millimeter by 1000 millimeter, I believe, uh, refractor. Um, I also used it in a Baytronics 114 millimeter by 500 millimeter uh, reflector. And then I also tested it in one of my homemade reflectors. It's a Oh, it's a little over six and a quarter, or around six and a quarter uh, diameter mirror. Um, and it's uh, 1,276 uh, millimeters is the uh, focal length. And uh, uh, first I tested it uh, with the uh, uh, Celestron Omni uh, and the uh, ETX Mead on the neighbor's tree. And... Uh, I, I tested it against the, the, the Vixen, and I also tested it against the Explore Scientific uh, 6.5 uh, uh, millimeter. It's a 52 degree. Um, I tested it against those two. And as far as, far as color and contrast and stuff on, on the, I was looking at a little tree branch and, and uh, pine needles. and. Uh, it seemed to have really good contrast and color compared to these other two, um, which I was kind of surprised about too for such an inexpensive eyepiece. Um, then uh, last night I, I checked it uh, with my uh, uh, with my big uh, six inch uh, uh, reflector on the moon. And the, the, the conditions weren't exactly perfect for that much magnification. Um, a nine millimeter would have been better, but it was still close enough that I could get an idea. And it seemed to perform as well as these other two, or maybe even better, um, as far as, as definition and stuff. So for the price, it's a pretty good little eyepiece, I think. Uh, um, well, I, I'm going to insert a clip in here um, and show you what it's actually like to look through it. On this eyepiece, when your uh, eye's too far away, you get that uh, a gray, that gray donut. And uh, the only difference with it on the camera and with your eye is... Uh, that will turn, as you get closer, that'll turn to a, um, from a donut to like a crescent shape um, if your eye's off center. 
and then uh, finally you get your eye in the right spot. You can see the full field of view. And then uh, if you get a little closer, right there's a full field of view. And then if you get a little bit too close, it starts closing back in again. So we can do it. There it goes. And then it closes back in. Anyway, that's the problem with this eyepiece. Okay, it's uh, it's really too bad it has that characteristic, you know, and uh, it's uh, like I said in there, it turns to it when you get off axis just a little bit, then you get that crescent uh, floating around, and it kind of swings around as you, as you get off center. Now you can go up and down as long as you're on center, and it's okay. And it has a fairly long travel, a few millimeters that you can move up and down. But you can't go off axis at all uh, without it uh, making that uh, uh, that crescent moon. And it's too bad because otherwise it's a really good eyepiece. If it didn't do that, man, it would be really good. But uh, because it does that, um, I, I wouldn't. I, you know, you can't really say it's it's a bad eyepiece because I have another eyepiece that does exactly the same thing. I'm, it's it's exactly, and and the difference is it's a five millimeter, and the other difference is it's a three hundred and fifty dollar eyepiece. This is a Vixen uh, SSW five millimeter. It's a, a 50, or 80, 80, 83 degree uh, field of view, and uh, it's got a big lens on it too. So, uh, but it's the same way. Um, you can go up and down a little bit. And this one may be even a little worse because you can't go up too much because then you can't see the field of view. It's, this eyepiece, it's impossible to get your eye to see the full 83 degrees at one time. Uh, you kind of got to swing your eye and just from one side to the other. Um, but it does that same thing when you get off axis, off center, when your pupil gets off, off center of the, I guess, exit pupil or, yeah, that... Uh, when it gets off axis of that, then that little uh, crescent starts swinging around whichever way you're off. So, like I said, though, I bought this. I wouldn't pay 350 bucks for this. I, I bought it used for 125 bucks. But even still, uh, um, it shows you that uh, uh, save, and I save 100 bucks difference and get still get the same messed up... Uh, uh, they still have the same flaws, except for you can save a hundred bucks. So, I don't think it's a, it's not a fantastic eyepiece. It's okay uh, for the price. It comes with these eye cups. Uh, it came in a little white box I don't have here, but um, it's not a bad eyepiece for the price. I guess I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, I'll probably continue to look for another uh, wide angle, six millimeter, um, that doesn't do that. Um, but it's usable, like I said, it's, uh, it's as usable as these other ones. And then, like I said, it, it gives a good uh, contrast. So if you can, if you can stand, uh, if you can hold your head really still when you're uh, uh, looking into the eyepiece, um, then it probably won't be as irritating uh, to you as it is to me. I have a tendency to kind of uh, move back and forth. I have to sit down when I'm looking through my telescope. There's no way I can look through with any IP standing up. So, anyway, I wanted to do a review of that, being nobody really had one. You got all kinds of people showing them pictures, but uh, nobody uh, actually testing it. See ya.